Um, I didn't really notice the the knot on her head until the nurse pointed it out. I did see the the bump on her lip. Um, she had a she did have a a bug vessel bust in her eye, and and. That's it, but I didn't really go in there like that. Damn, y'all jumped. Posted my flight itinerary. I, when I got there, oh, I can't make On that Friday up. Friday the can't. 28th, and her family says the next morning she was dead. It was supposed to be a fun, long weekend for 25 year old Shinquilla Robinson and her group of friends who went to Cabo to celebrate one of their birthdays. She told me they had a chef, they was getting ready to eat. They was eating tacos, some salad or something. They was eating. And, um, I said, well, okay, I love you, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. And I never talked to my child again, and she never made it back home. Robinson's mom, Selamandra, says within 24 hours of her daughter's arrival, she was dead. Figuring out how or why has only added to the family's nightmare. It started with a frantic call from Robinson's friends. They said she wasn't feeling well, she had alcohol poison. They couldn't get a pulse. Each one of the, the people that was there with her was telling different stories. It's when the family made calls to the FBI and Mexican authorities that they learned of another potential cause of death. And the autopsy came back. They said it didn't have anything to do with alcohol. Say that she had been, um, she had a broken neck and her spine in the back was cracked. She had been beaten. Salamandra says the entire group came back from Mexico, leaving her daughter's body there. Nearly two weeks and $6,000 later, her body is back home, but answers have been hard to come by. You know, I know that's not going to bring my child back, but I want something done about it. Hello, this is your girl, Jenna, and today we are going to talk about the story of Shanquilla Robinson. And I'm sure you guys are hearing about this um, going around um, social media. It is literally everywhere. But before we get into the video, you know what to do. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you have not already. Cut your notifications on so you won't miss out on any videos that we upload. Also, check out our community board. It's popping and locking over there, guys. I post over there every day, all day on top stories so you guys can actually stay ahead of the game and know all about your celebrities. All right, so um, let me just say this. I am human, <laughs> and when I heard about this, I automatically, um, I automatically got uh, completely like attached to this this story because it was unfortunate, very unfortunate. You have a young woman who's 25 years old who is a businesswoman uh, a braider um and she you know has her own little little hustle going on in north carolina and she goes over to cabo mexico with six of her friends and i use that term very lightly okay and literally within 24 hours she is no longer with us okay so um this story really stood out to me and of course on twitter and, and all over the place the actual video was released this week of what could have happened now i've been reading about this so i'm coming off the top of my head and then i'm going to give some little facts as well and i'm going to give my commentary and scenarios Everything is alleged. Just to let you guys know, these people have not been caught. They are in hiding and all of that. So, yes, everything in this video is alleged and it is also my opinion. Okay. Um, so her friends, and I'm going to use the term friends throughout this whole video, but just understand they were the opposite of friends. Okay. Basically um, told the parents, her mother, um... And her mother name is Sala, uh, Salamandra. Salamandra told her mother that she had had uh, alcohol poisoning. Okay. So I personally feel like this was planned. I don't know. You guys let me know how you feel in the comments. I personally feel like this was planned from the get-go. 
She was completely blindsided. I'm not sure if she was, and I'm, I'm t when I say she, I'm talking about um, Ms. Shinquella. I don't know if she was cool with everyone, but I know there was one friend. His name is Khalil. And they knew each other for five plus years. Okay. And he was on the trip as well. They went over to, to Mexico. She had called her mother. She had said that, you know, she had landed. Everything was safe. And they were eating some tacos. And um, she had discussed that with her mother to basically give her mother some ease and say, hey, she's there and everything's great. And her mother said, hey, I'll talk to you in the morning. And she never got to call her back. Okay. Within 24 hours, um, Shanquilla was, was deceased. Okay. And within that span of 24 hours, apparently in the video, and I watched the video, and if you guys go out and, and try to, you know, find the video, great, but do it with your own, um, you know, just understanding this very disheartening and very um, graphic. She, first and foremost, she was not clothed. Um, she was not clothed during the video. The young woman who actually was fighting her, who was allegedly, um, let me see, I think her name was De Dejeuner. I think her name, yeah, allegedly that could have been the woman that she was fighting. Or she wasn't fighting. She was literally, like, attacked. Uh, she did not look like she was able to fight. Not only because she was not clothed, but it just looks like she was disoriented. And in the video, you could hear her say no, because there's a voice in the background. So apparently someone taped this, video recorded it. And they were. T you can hear them in the background saying, Quella, fight back. If you watched it, she was not fighting back. She said no. She didn't want to fight. And so this woman literally took her up in her in the in the quarrel or in the whirlwind of the fight. You could actually kind of see where she could have possibly um gotten um injured and we'll get into that in a minute. I don't know why this woman was not clothed. I could, I, I think uh, they caught her maybe um, while she was sleeping or some other um, funny things were going on. And I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let that go to your imagination if you understand where I'm coming from because I don't know this, but I could just understand that something was going on. All I'm gonna say is this. I was feeling like this was kind of like the Players Club. If you remember that movie, Players Club, there were two scenes in that movie that this story kind of um, reminds me of. And another movie or another story that this uh, particular situation reminds me of is the Kanika Jen Jennings or Jenkins, is it? Kanika? Guys, correct me in the comments. What's her name? Kanika Jenkins? All right, so what happened is after all this aftermath, it cuts off. We don't know what else happened. We can kind of, you know, use our imaginations on what else happened after the video cuts off. But apparently she was not coherent. She did not get up and fight. She did not defend herself. She was literally injured and needed help. And her friends did not do this. Okay, they did not help her. They didn't call the police. They didn't call aid. They didn't do any of that. They covered it up or tried to cover it up by saying she had alcohol poisoning, right? And of course, her parents, after all of this, you know, um, her best friend supposedly or allegedly called the parent, the mom and said, okay, uh, let me read exactly what was said. He came back and told us it was alcohol poisoning. And this is coming from the mother, um, Salamandra. We were more calm, I guess, because we trust him and we kind of believed what he was telling. So they knew he was the common friend, which tells me that the other people may have not been friends. Maybe they were acquaintances and things of that nature. But let's just keep it real. Khalil wasn't a friend either. Unfortunately, medics could not save Shanquilla. Khalil and the five others had to hurry and get out of Mexico to escape being caught up in legal troubles. So they returned to the, U the U.S. a day earlier. This was only a weekend. This was supposed to be a long weekend, a weekend trip. Okay. And they, after all of this, 
they got back to the state. So this is going to be, this is not cut and dry because at this point in which I'm telling this story and I'm sharing this guys with you, um, right now they're saying that her demise is not uh, foul play or I don't know, but they're investigating as well. And this is still an ongoing situation. Okay, so Salamandra, which is the mom, said that after Khalil returned to the U.S., he brought Shaquilla's luggage to the house and reiterated that Shaquilla had passed away from alcohol poisoning. So he actually took her things on the plane back to the parents. Mind you, this friend was actually and I'm saying allegedly, was in the room. And some say he was even the voice that was saying, Quilla, fight back. He brought her luggage to my house when he got back. And he just kept saying she passed away from alcohol poisoning, the mom said. At that point, I just said I was going to wait for the autopsy to come back. Khalil kept coming around the family trying to make it seem like he was innocent and didn't know what happened to Quilla, Shaquilla. He kept coming around. Hmm. He was trying to, you know, cover his tracks. You know, in the midst of everything. Now, in the video, you only see one person um, assaulting Shanquilla. Nobody else was physically doing anything but in my opinion if you're sitting there and just to let you know it was six people so it, in the in full it was seven including Shanquilla but it was six other people who was on the trip now one friend is saying that he got there late he wasn't there when it actually happened and that clip was the clip that uh you saw in the beginning okay so while this woman, and she was visibly not able to defend herself, they stood there and they allowed it to happen. They could have stopped her. They could have broke it up. They could have said, okay, that's enough, whoever it was. They just stood by and allowed this to happen. Okay, so when Khalil came back over to uh, the mother's house, he brought Winter Donovan and Dejanae. Jackson and, and Dejanae Jackson is the one that we feel that she was actually she's the one who was the aggressor in the video two of the three girls that were with them in Mexico with them Donovan and Jackson told Sal Salamandra and her family the same story so they were getting their stories together on this plane they were getting their stories together and they all said well okay we're gonna this is what we're gonna say Quilla Long said that her family had gotten phone calls that they were over in Mexico um, fighting and jumped Shanquilla. Long said she asked the girls if that was true and they told her it was not true. So apparently things were going around and they had gotten word that yes, there had been an argument and a physical altercation. By the time Khalil brought the girls over to my, my mom, um, to the mother's house we had started receiving calls that's what she said Salamandra said that she and her family stayed calm and trusted Khalil you know they didn't they, they didn't feed into it they just said hey we're just gonna wait for the facts to come now here comes the situation when the um, autopsy report came back it said that alcohol poisoning was not even related in this situation, which which tells me that first and foremost, I don't know why this young lady was in the video looking a little off. I don't know if she just woke up. I don't know what happened because we only seen this little clip, which was like less than a minute. You know what I mean? We don't know what happened before and we don't know what happened after. The autopsy said that there was no alcohol uh, alcohol it was not alcohol related it didn't say alcohol was not in her system it just said it wasn't alcohol related so the alcohol in her system was not um high enough for her to have had alcohol poisoning that's what i'm gathering it said that it showed that she had a broken neck and a cracked spine that's what it showed so that changes this whole 
story because they came home and they fibbed. They lied and said that it was alcohol poisoning when it, when it was not. Okay. Salamandra said that she and her family received photos of Shanquilla in which her face was swollen. She had a knot on her head. Her eyes were swollen and her lips were split. So this woman was severely physically injured, okay? And they left her there. They did not try to get her any help. What type of people was Shanquilla around? They were good actors. They were, they, they were, they were acting very well because... Shanquilla had no idea that this would happen. She was literally blindsided. The U.S. Department officials in Mexico reportedly denied that Shanquilla's demise was a fatal injury. They said that the authorities, the authority investigation did not reveal signs of foul play. Now, I don't know if that was before this autopsy, which I think was before, but even still... Her face was swollen and all of the evidence was on her body that she had been severely physically injured. So I don't know how they came to that conclusion. And I'm hearing so much about going over to these different countries. Guys, you have to be careful. You have to be careful about going outside of, um, you know, traveling. There's so many stories out here of, of these type of stories that people are not coming home. They're not coming home alive, if you will. Be careful. And so the mom said, I'm confused about how the authorities did not find signs of foul play when everyone on the trip told the authorities that Shanquilla passed away from alcohol poisoning poisoning initially but the autopsy revealed that they were lying and that she was severely physically injured so how is this not foul play okay so the friends names Khalil Cook Malik Dyer Winter Donovan Elise Hyatt Dejanae Jackson and Nazir Wiggins all should be in Mexico's confinement for fatally injuring Shaquilla, in my opinion. Most of them have gone into hiding because they all know what happened to Shanquilla and they're lying about it. So the man who was in the beginning, I think his name is Nazir. I think that's Nazir, okay? What do you guys think about this, all right? Now, Shanquilla Robinson did not pass away from alcohol poisoning. So why did Khalil, her best friend of five plus years, lie to his best friend's mother and family? Okay. And so apparently, like I said, the other people, I don't know how she did this happen. I don't know how she got into this physical altercation. I don't know why that girl did that to her. If you actually watched the video, um, and like I said, you know, watch it with your own, um, you know, just knowing that it's very graphic. Um, you can actually see at one point of the time that uh, the girl twirls around her like twir twirls around Shanquilla like she's a rag doll. She was completely helpless and she landed the way she landed. You can see that. Yeah, that could possibly have caused her injuries. You could see that. So. I myself, guys, I'm just going to leave out on this. Be careful. Teach your children. Teach your teens. Teach as long as we're here, we're supposed to all help each other. Have a ha, use the power of, of discernment. There's always a funny feeling. Um, something happens to your your gut. You know how they say a gut feeling. If your gut feeling is telling you something is wrong. That is your body trying to save you from a horrible situation. Okay, I have I myself have been in, in situations where I was in a group of friends and and usually if you know one person, we automatically think we know everybody, y you know, and people tend to change when they get around other people. If you actually watch the video, 
this girl didn't care that that Sh um, Shanquilla was not um, defending herself. She she wanted to um, really really hurt her. She wanted to make her feel it, if you will. And the only reason why she was like at the end of the video, she was like, "Come on, get up, get up." It's because the so-called friend was recording it saying, Quilla fight back. So she had an audience. And so obviously this man who she was best friends with, he changed. Something happened. I don't know what happened, but, you know, was was that ever her friend? We, we we'll, I guess we'll never know. Okay, that's really my main question. What would bring someone to do this something had to have happened and then some people say you know i feel like it's jealousy it is envy you know because the main thing that that girl was really um obsessed over was her face she really messed her face up that's was jealousy to me that's jealousy now the other injuries i'm not sure if they purposely did that i think that happened within the midst of the struggle if you will um but yeah, be careful who you are around. Um, trust God. Trust your own instinct. And like DMX said, trust people going to be who they are. <laughs> I, you know, he said that on Drink Chance. That was his last interview. He said, trust the snake to be a snake. Trust the dog to be a dog. Trust that pe people are going to be who they are, but also know who they are. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Let's chime in in the comments. Let's talk. Let me know how you feel about this because I know everyone has their own feelings about this situation. And um, I'll see you next time.